So I know you're thinking that, you know, you know, these clients aren't going to pay more, right? That they're not going to go forward. They're, if you go back to somebody who's paying 250 bucks a month, there ain't no way they're going to pay 750 That they're just not going to do it. They're all going to leave, right? So if you go through and you look at your book on a methodical basis, you look at business returns doing 650 you look at monthly accounting clients doing 300 that you know, you're not going to be able to go back and renegotiate these people up. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your entire business, right? And so when you look at the business and the business is doing, you know, let's say $550,000 in sales, $125,000 in terms of salary and net profit, what are you going to do? That's 20%, right? You grow, now you grow to a million, you're only going to be doing that same 20, 22%, right? So that's million in sales, $200,000 in salary and profit. But really, as you grow, things get tighter when you have these type of deals. And so margins will even compress even farther as you continue to grow. So maybe you only end up at 15, 20% margin. You gotta change the game. Got to change the game. You know, you can't, you gotta change the paradigm. And when you look at these clients, like, yes, yeah, some of them will leave. Like some of them, when you say, look, our new minimum is 500, or our new minimum is 750, they're not gonna go along for that ride, right? Or when you go to somebody that's paying six fifty on a business return, you're like, look, I can save you $13,000 on taxes, but it's gonna cost 3,500 bucks to go through and do a formal tax plan. They're gonna say, no, I'm not gonna do it, right? But what you gotta understand is, like, there is a methodical way to go through and, and, and rinse out this book. And you've gotta figure out, like, what would it look like? Okay, what would it look like for me to go from 500,000 in sales, 125,000 net profit, and grow the sales, right? So have an increase in revenue and have an increase in profit margin. So maybe go from 500, that 50,000 in sales and 125,000 net profit to a million in sales and 400,000 net profit, 40% margin. What would that look like? And you, what you've got to do is every single time you add a new client. Now, when, you talk, when we talk about a new client or a new deal, new prospect, do it from a new prospect. Do it from a brand new person coming in. Get somebody on 1200 bucks a month. Get somebody on a, a $4,500 tax plan, right? Or upsell an existing client. Let's say you got somebody on the tax side, not on the accounting side. Upsell them over. Let's say maybe you repackage somebody. So you say, hey, right now you're on monthly accounting, but we're going to package you up into something where we're gonna do forward-looking statements. We're also gonna do uh, quarterly tax planning and we can save you X amount. So you upsell, you, you get a new client, you upsell existing clients or you repackage existing clients. That's how you create new opportunity right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Now you may not know how to do some of that, but that's, that's the first way out is to create an increase in revenue. You, you can't increase your profit margin by adding a little 2% of productivity by implementing you know, some tool. Okay? You've got to change the quality of revenue. It doesn't matter how much you try to change the delivery and the workflow. It's not going to change the basic structure of the business. And so you go through, you, you get a new client, you upsell, you repackage. Then you go back and you renegotiate your prices up with your existing clients. And you know those clients that didn't want to get upsold, didn't want to do a repackage, hey, time is now, right? Time is now. And so if somebody's on two, 300 bucks a month, hey, new 500 minimum, new 750 minimum. And what you'll see is when you do that, and you know, I, I, know, I know you're scared to do it. I know you're worried that these people are gonna leave, but I'm telling you, I've seen people do this over and over and over again. You know, there are all gamuts of clients, right? Some people are gonna be mad and leave. Some people are gonna come to you and say, you, you know you should, we were wondering when you were going to figure this out. You should have done this a long time ago, right? <laughs> so you'll have the gamut. But the people that stay will be the people that appreciate the work that you do. They'll be the people that appreciate kind of what you're bringing to the table. They'll be the ones that are going to be on the new model. And when you do that, right, you've got to have some people go. Um, you know, if you think you can just keep these people paying 250 on a monthly or 500 on a business return, and the worst thing you can do is outsource that. Outsource, oh yeah, I'm gonna have somebody else do it. Somebody else gonna take care of it. Really? You take a low margin client, right? So you have a low margin, not high margin, low margin. You got low margin 
And as soon as you hire somebody to do it for you, as soon as you put a contractor on it, as soon as you outsource it, you know what happens to that low margin? It goes to no margin. And now you're left with basically, you know, a charity organization where you're not even doing, you know, probably the, the, the type of mission-based work you would want to do in your charity. You're doing 1040s for free. And, you know, just so these people can have a low price. And, oh, you might say, well, I'm only, I'm paying $300 for the 1040. I'm only paying a hundred bucks. And then I'm getting the other 200. Well, then why is your margin so low? Why is the profit margin so low? So look, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I work on with people. And, and when you face these sort of harsh realities, you kind of have a decision to make. Like, am I going to keep telling myself it's something else? Am I going to keep telling myself, well, oh, if I just add another client or oh, if I just get a little bit more like efficient, if I just get the right staff, then it's going to change. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. What changes it is, you know, these conversations with clients, going out and having a better way to show the value so you can get somebody to pay 9,000 that paid 600 on a tax return last year. And if you think that's not possible, you can turn this video off right now and we can go a separate way, right? But if, you're, if you've been watching this video, right, and we're six minutes and 18 seconds into this, if you've watched to this point, you know that there's something there that's possible. Or how you could take somebody on a 250 to a 750. Right? Or take somebody on a 750 to a 2,500 bucks a month. Now it's not every client, but when, when you come across the right deal, it's there. And so you've got to show the value in a better way. You've got to have the courage to set up these meetings and appointments, go through them one by one. And then you've got to have the courage to say, once you go through it and you get new deals, you upsell, you repackage, then you got to say, wait, new minimums, right? And so if you're ready to go through the process of doing this, I would, my, myself and my team would love to help you. We've helped thousands of people do this. Thousands of tax, accounting, wealth management firms go through and rinse out their business so they can grow it with the right type of margin, right? So actually grow it where, you know, we like to see if somebody's doing 250,000 in sales, 60, 70% margin. If you're doing 500,000 in sales, we like to see 60% margin. If you're doing a million a year in sales, we want to see 50% margin, 40, 50% margin. So if you're not at these levels, you've got too many staff, you've got clients paying too little, you've got too much delivery, we've got to go through a process of changing the game. That involves getting new deals, getting new appointments, getting new clients, pricing in a new way. But it also involves going back to your existing clients at the right time, in the right way, giving them offers to help them more. And if they don't want to do it, we got new minimums. So if that's something you want to do, um, uh, there's an application below this video to go ahead and set up time with me and my team to walk through how we do this. So we're going to go through and give you a full presentation of every little thing that we do. We'll talk about tax planning. We'll talk about CFO services and how you add those, how you price them, how you package them. We'll actually show you one of the biggest things we've made you know, this year is to start having people do their sales consultations on a deck presentation. So it's not just, oh, let's sit down and talk and have a conversation. Like You've got to get people to see the value and to see it visually. And so we have like for tax planning, we have a 135 slide presentation for CFO, same thing. It's over 100 slides that we walk through how to show the client the value that they're going to get to get them to see what they're buying and get excited about it. And so you know, you'll get all the new client acquisition stuff, you'll get the decks that we do, you'll get how we upsell the clients and then all the practice development stuff that we do for workflow hiring and, and so on. And so um, if you guys are interested and if you've been watching this long, right? And you're looking at your margin, you're thinking end of the year, why did that happen? And you wanna change that next year, we'd love to talk to you. So go ahead and fill out that application below and I will see you on the other side.